Yes, we're going to do this one a little bit faster. If you want a slower version, go to number 17. I walk you through a little bit slower. Uh, so we want uh, the sum. And I know this is an arithmetic series because I recognize this is linear. Not all sums are going to be linear, but this one is. It's like y equals mx plus b, n is to the first power. So I have a formula for the sum of the first n terms of an arithmetic sequence. It's the average of my first and my last term times the number of terms I have. Now, if I want my first term, I'm just going to plug in a 1, right? So you're going to plug in whatever they have on the bottom. Here it's very natural. We're starting off with a 1. Later on, we might start off with something different. Whatever that bottom number is, that's what you're plugging in. So if I plug in a 1, I get negative 10. And then you're going to, the last term will be when you plug in a 9. So when I plug in a 9, I get 63 minus 17. So 63 minus 17 is 46. And we're going to take the average of those. So we're going to add them up and divide by how many we have and multiply it by how many terms we have. Since we're starting off with the first term and ending with the ninth term, we do have nine terms. No trickery here. Later on, if you start off with something different, be a little bit careful. You're going to do 9 minus 1 uh, to get 8, and then you're going to add an extra 1 at the end. Um, and let's see. So we have 36 over 2 times 9. So 18 times 9. So the hardest part is going to be that multiplication. You get 162. Haha, -ha, and we match our answer key, and all is right with the world. So again, if you want a slower version, go to 17. If you want another fast version to get the pace of it, we're going to do 19 the same way.